Hello everybody, welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today we're actually not in Blender, this time we are in Photoshop because I asked you if you wanted me to do a Photoshop tutorial and a lot of you said yes. Alright, here we go. Today we're going to be creating a dispersed particle disintegrating explosion effect thing <laughs> like at the beginning of the video you saw what we're going to be creating. And this is pretty easy, it's not that hard to do. All you have to do is just download a couple of brushes and this image, and everything is in the description, so go get it. All right, let's get started. And by the way, I've tried to record this tutorial like seven times, and each time, Action, the thing that I use, it's called Action, the recording setup, it keeps crashing, and I finally figured out why. It's whenever, let me zoom out real quick, whenever I select the brush and it's bigger than this window, it just blows up my program. So every time I have to switch to a bigger brush, I have to zoom out and then uh, bring this down and then zoom back in. <laughs> That's just what I have to do, it's annoying. Okay, so let's drag this into this document right here and then let's rotate it onto its side. And if you hold shift while doing this, also, sorry, I forgot to tell you what I just did. I hit control T and then I rotated it and then hold in shift, it will snap it into increments. There you go. But if we zoom in here and we turn off this background layer, as you can see, the white is still there. And this is easy to get rid of, it's not that hard. All we have to do is select this magic wand tool. And if it's not there, if it's this one, all you have to do is hold this and then go down and select that. Very easy. All right, click on the white. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job, but, oh, hold on. If we zoom in with the zoom tool, and that's Z by the way, um, as you can see, this it didn't select everything. So this is easy to fix as well. All we have to do is hit shift and then click in the middle and that will do that. Same thing over here, shift and boom. Very, very easy. And then as you can see, it did a better job. All right, hit mask and that will do that. But as you can see, it's inverted. So all we have to hit is control I all right, let's zoom in here, and I want to do a couple little small changes. Hold on, let me make sure my brush is not freaking out. Wait, 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 let me select, um, let me just select a regular brush right here, boom. And then we'll zoom in here, brush. This is going to get really annoying, but I have to do it if I want to create this tutorial. <laughs> All right. Uh, just get rid of this little knob here because we're, we're not going to be using that. I would like to create a shadow under there instead of a little knob. Alright, that's easy. Now we get to start destroying the guitar. But before we do that, always create duplicates. So hit Control J on this little, on this layer right here. And then hide this and apply this mask layer. Alright, now let's destroy it. So let me zoom out and grab a new particle brush. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is gonna get annoying, but I have to do it. I have to do it. I don't know why. Oh gosh, okay. I don't know why, but I just have to. Action is just stupid sometimes. Okay, for some reason there was a little weird strip right here. I don't know why that happened. I think I might have just accidentally clicked. All right, we're back and uh, apply this mask layer. And just hit this button right here and it'll apply a new mask. Now we need to um, get the particle brushes and everything is in the description like I said so hit this particle brush make it smaller and you can do this by hitting uh, alt and then moving to the side just like that alright now that it's smaller I can zoom back in <laughs> let's start disintegrating it the first one I'm gonna be doing is right here so just do, 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 and make sure it's set to black and then just disintegrate it that's looking cool let me do one maybe right here Nice, and then maybe one right here. It's pretty sweet. Next, let's rotate it around. There we go. And then some right here, maybe. Nice, maybe a little bit right there. That's looking sweet. All right, next, let's change the brushes. So come over here, and I'm gonna select this one now. There we go, and make it smaller, and then zoom back in. <laughs> you don't have to do that because you're not recording and it's not gonna crash on you. All right, let me just do a couple things right there, maybe a little bit right there. And you don't have to do a lot, just make it look cool. Let me rotate this around, maybe a little bit more. There we go, some right there. 
nice and there's a little bit too much right here so let me select a different brush I'm going to select this one right here and then I'm gonna zoom in and just fix these little spots that I don't want um, I don't want to be ruined like right here I'm gonna switch it back to white and then just paint a little bit right there maybe fix some right here there's just in a couple spots that I don't want it to be visible good thing I just paused my recording because it crashed again because I selected a brush that was too big for the screen <laughs> okay let's get back into it uh, right here we're going to duplicate this layer and apply this layer mask and then we're going to hide it or unhide it next we're going to go to filter and liquify just give it a second alright now this is a little bit tricky but it's not that hard all we're gonna be doing is just spreading this out like this just where the, we uh, disintegrated it we disintegrated it up here as well as like right here just kinda spread it out just like this and there we go not too hard we disintegrated it over here as well and then a little bit right here let me bring this back that's it right there just play around with it make it look it doesn't have to look great just we just want it to be spread so we can uh, add the particles just like that all right then hit OK perfect next if you hold alt and you hit the mask that will just make it black and that's what we want okay let me zoom out and grab a particle brush hold on I'm gonna be using this one right here there we go and then I'm gonna make it smaller and then I'm gonna zoom back in <laughs> okay oh my gosh that's annoying it's really annoying but I have to do it okay now um, with this mask layer selected change it to white and then just add a couple particles a couple up here maybe um, I don't, can you even see that oh I forgot something that makes it so that we can actually see it <laughs> we're going to change this background to a gradient and let's do that real quick so hit G and then hit shift G until gradient appears and then change this color to like a grayish something like that and then hit OK and make sure it's set to radial gradient and then just from the center go out wait a second from the center go out oh wait 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 let's invert this or inverse it and then do the same thing there we go that's what I want and now you can see the particles okay very cool now let's go back to our um, background layer and then we'll change hold on let me zoom out let me zoom out <laughs> we'll change the brush to something like this maybe and then we'll make it make it smaller and then I'll zoom back in all right I'm gonna be adding a little bit right here There we go. Okay, we have it. I sped that up because that was a, a long time trying to just get everything to look good. I did a little bit of fixing right here. I just changed the brush back to a regular brush and I kind of painted around. But there we go. That is looking sweet. The next thing that we're going to be doing is adding some smoke effects and just it's going to look cool. <laughs> Alright, so add a new layer. Let's bring it to the bottom and then select your brush and these brushes are in the description I'm going to add let me try to find it um, not sure hold on let me look I think it was this one that I used yeah let's go with this one 
Let me set the brush to be down. There we go, up a little bit. And then select, um, make sure it's set to black, and then I'm just gonna go boom, right there. Nice, that is cool. I like it. Um, let me actually bring this to the front. And then uh, we're going to select the brush again. Just do a regular brush this time, up here. And then we're going to paint over, let's add a mask, we're going to paint over this part. Let me zoom in a little bit, because we want this part to be behind. Hold on, hold on, control Z. Make sure the hardness is set to like zero. And then we're going to just paint over this to make it look like it's behind the guitar. That's it right there. Pretty cool, huh? Next we're going to add another layer, and this time it's going to be below the guitars. Let me zoom out. This one is going to be a smoke layer. Let me just find a good smoke. Probably this one I think would be good. Yeah. Let me zoom in. Make it smaller, zoom in a little bit. And then we'll rotate it so that it's upright. There we go. And then just go like that. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller. Nice. Now let's add a different uh, brush. Just find one. Probably, I think this one might look cool. Yeah, alright. And then we'll zoom in here. Make it smaller, zoom in, and then boom. Nice. That is cool. <laughs> okay, one more thing that we have to do before this tutorial is over is add a shadow at the bottom. This is very easy to do. Just add a new layer and then click on your regular brush. Set the hardness to zero, 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 and then just click anywhere. <laughs> there we go. Hit Control T, make it smaller, and then just place it underneath, right there. Perfect. That is looking. Oh, hold on. Let me select V. That is looking very cool. I like it. Um, maybe we can just add or uh, get rid of these little things right here. Let me zoom out, brush lower. There we go, zoom back in. There we go, that's our guitar. We did it. We finally created the tutorial and I made it through with only like two crashes, but I paused uh, every couple minutes and saved it just in case I did it. But there we go, there's our guitar. That looks pretty cool. I hope you guys created something cool out of this. Tell me in the comments below if you did. I'd like to see what you came up with. That would be awesome. Maybe post it on a forum, give me the link. But that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. And next week I will probably have a new Blender tutorial out and I'll try to think of something to create. All right, there you go. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And that is it. Goodbye.